How's you? Go away. Still grumpy? Only with the stalkers I don't like. Mean. I'm actually a nice guy. You've changed your number four times now after I've repeatedly blocked you. What's going on guys and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien and today we're going through r slash nice guys. Hello, how are you doing today? Of course you don't respond to me even if you are online. No wonder you are single. <laughs> also, I just checked your profile. You are not even that cute. Just a fat ugly bee with a lot of attitude. And on top of that, you are one of those feminist types. Um, I know it's kind of rude to not text you back but I was talking to a friend of mine and me not texting back does not give you the right to talk crap about a people parents are taught crap in general. Ha, huh, feminist B. I just told the truth. I'm not talking crap. By the way, you are the one ignoring me for no reason and being rude. I'm going to go block you now. Thanks for calling me names, I guess? Thought so. You girls don't deserve a nice guy like me. You only care about abs and money, not personality. Being nice isn't a personality trait, dome dog. And don't give us nice guys a chance. I just told the truth and you saying you'll block me? Of course. I am done with girls like you who ignore us nice guys and run after the F boys. I, I just told the truth. I am really done with you 21st century tramps not giving a damn about a nice guy's emotions and threatening to block them because they can't handle the truth. That they are ugly. Also, who the hell are you to block me? I have no interest in talking to disrespectful people like you. So don't worry, I'll block you. <laughs> this is going to Reddit for some karma. Thanks. None of y'all are truly hopeless romantics anymore. Let's argue. Nah, we are. Ladies just for F boy. <laughs> Ultimate virgin. Knock knock. Knock knock. Who to F is it? You can't. You can't who? You can't reply to this conversation. <laughs> Solid. That's a good way. It's a good way to do it. You're very pretty, by the way. All right. Knock, knock. Come in, dear. Really? Knock, knock. I don't know what that means, sweetheart. I just work. I doubt keep up with social media. It's a knock, knock joke, man. You gotta say who's there. Have you never heard a knock, knock joke? It's a really good one. Just play along. You can do it. I believe in you. Knock, knock. Who's there, baby girl? You can't. Been let down a lot. Thought this was a silly joke. Who's there, silly? You can't. You say you can't who? You're making this confusing, sweetheart. Sweetie, who's there? You can't. Ugh, baby girl, who the F is there? <laughs> Dude, just say you can't who. Why is this hard? I gotta work tomorrow, but now I'm curious as to who's there. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, dude. Let's try again. Knock, knock. Who's there, babe? You can't. WTF, huh? Say you can't who for the love of all things good. How do you not know how knock-knock jokes work? We have to speak on the phone. Dear Lord, my child, listen. Clearly I know how a goddamn joke works. And then he calls the poor girl. When someone says knock-knock, you say who's there, and then they say something and you repeat that something followed by who. Example, knock-knock, who's there, Finn, Finn who, finish up this joke. Clearly I tried to call. Like that. Let's try one last time. My IQ is three points less than genius level. I know how jokes work, clearly not. Okay, that's great because I really want this joke to work. Knock, knock. Who's there? You can't. WTF, babe. The next part is supposed to be you can't who. Please, say it. Who can't, sweetheart? You've blocked blank. Oh, such a struggle to just get to that punchline. Oh, this is a big boy. This is a big boy post. Hi, hello. Who is this? It's Kane from Alex's party, remember like, like two months ago, I think. Hello? Yeah, sorry, I needed to wrap something up. Um, in November? Yeah, yeah. You remember me, don't you? Dirty blonde, green eyes. Did we talk? I think so. But hey, I'm moving into your area and I thought it'd be nice to get to know you. My city? Yeah, yeah, and I'll be going to local high school, which is pretty close to your place. Oh, okay. I'm just wondering who you got my contact information from. Oh, I got it from Alex. Don't need to be so hostile. I'm not a creep or anything, I just wanna make friends. <laughs> okay, just, you know, I don't don't exactly remember talking to you. Gotta be careful, you know? Don't be like that. You're a sweet girl. I'm not like other guys. I just want a nice talk. What grade are you going into? Our grades, he's two years older. Blank, blank here. I know you're in blank. Hello? Hello, I was asleep at 1 a.m. Hello, Mayo. What is it? Don't be silly. You didn't wake up at 3.47 p.m. And I was just saying hello. You are so defensive all the time. I didn't expect you to talk at 1, but it is polite to respond after waking up. Uh, I was at school? I can't always respond to people right away, mate. School ends at two. Why do you keep making false falsehoods? That's a double negative. I had orchestra after school and anyways it's not really your concern is it? Why not? I reach out to you because I want
want to make friends, and then you are so rude and hostile to me and so defensive. Look, I'll be completely honest with you. I don't remember talking to you or even meeting you at the party. I asked Alex if you were at the party, and he said yes, but that doesn't mean I... I was there. Want to automatically just get to know you. I don't know who you are, but you know way too much about me. Too much? You are going too far. Pray tell. I know an area you live in school, but only because I'm moving into the same area. That isn't too much. But I've never met you, and therefore you haven't met me. <sighs> Girls are so defensive always. Okay, you know what? It's perfectly reasonable for me to be defensive because I don't know you. Again, I know you're friends with Alex. We do know each other. We met at the party. Are you having a stroke? But I'm not going to be polite anymore just because you two know each other. A stroke? No, we didn't meet. You don't have to be polite because Alex is my friend. Just be a good person. What is wrong with you? And we did meet, OP. I remember you for sure. I'm not a bad person for thinking that you're being weird, okay? <laughs> what? Cute Asian girl, big dark eyes and black hair. So smooth skin. Uh, you wanted to be friends. You look like such a good girl. I am very disappointed. A good girl? I'm sorry, just what? Friends, yes, maybe move on to something bigger and more beautiful in the future. I'm afraid I don't quite understand. You don't mean hooking up, do you? You are a good girl still. Maybe you still have a chance. This is very uncomfortable for me. Are you trolling me? Hooking up? No, that's vulgar, OP. So, so just, just friends. You're Japanese, right? I love Japanese girls. So cute. I'm not. They are such good girls, too. That's such a creepy statement, bro. You aren't? I'm Korean, and also you're sending conflicting messages here. Oh, Korea. North or South? What the hell do you think? Again, with hostility. Don't worry, I'll make you trust again. All will be okay. Also, you're changing the subject. A quote message. You're sending conflicting messages here. You just want to be friends. Nothing more, right? Friends, and who know where the road leads? Maybe we will become closer than you imagine. Hmm, Gross. Okay, last call. We are never dating, right? Right? Why are you so defensive? OP, look, you are beautiful and smart. It's a yes or no question, Kane. And any man would love to be a closer than a friend. So that's a no. No, it's not. You want an explanation, so I gave you one. Calm down, OP. I think I fell in love with you when I saw you at the party, drinking Fanta. I love Fanta too, so I was going to approach you. <laughs> Kane, I'm dating someone. But I got too shy. I really wanted to say hello, but you've always had people around you. Nowhere private to go. I know you are. So I was correct and we've never met, you know? Then what the hell are you doing? We met spiritually, OP. We met eyes. Eyes are like windows to the soul, remember? Bullcrap. Because I'm out of love, what else could I do? For both of our sakes, I'm going to stop messaging you now. And please stop messaging me. I don't want to block you because I know you're in the group chat with Alex and our other friends, but I will if you keep on with this. OP, please. I just wanted to talk. Talk? You play tennis, right? I play as well. We could play together. Your BF can join too, and you will see I'm good for you too. Video games too. I just want to be friends. What's wrong with that? Hot girl from school. Effing hot girl from school was at the party, but I chose you. But you always have walls, shields up, so hostile, and even when I'm being so nice. So defensive, even though I told you I'm not like other guys. I get it. You're a woman. The world is big and scary, but a man like me looks at a beautiful woman and he feels a sense of chivalry, like you are a precious- Oh god, that's gross. Korean gem to be protected from Kim Jong-il. I'm not being creepy. I want to be nice, friendly. I can treat you so well, OP. All you have to do is be beautiful and caring and do your art things and it would be perfect everything. I can give you the world. My parents are in real estate. Do you see my house? It has a movie room, a pool for sexy cute OP. Just say the words, cute OP. I can give you it. Ugh, my phone has no spell check on. Sorry, keep missing the O key. OP, just please. OP, why are you acting like this? I am so sorry if I messed up. I didn't mean it at all. But you are not the only girl in the world. I will move on past you to better things if you really want to end it here. Other hotties from school, they are all more beautiful than you and I can move on to them if you'd like. I meant what I said when I said you are attractive, but I just want you to know, men will get tired of having their emotions played with. I'm patient and I am not unkind. I'll give you a second chance. Text me back. I'm sweating bullets after that. That guy brought out the cringe sweats, dude. Cringe sweats. Hello, is this Billy? Yep, and who would you be? Guess, lol. I don't really want to, mate. Tall, dark, and handsome, ring any bells? I'm not playing this game, boy. Oh, trust me, I'm a man. Billy with the big boobs, right? I'd love a go on those. Rub my wiener up and down between your bosom whilst you moan deeply. Okay, you're gross, bro. Oh, Lord. Call me daddy. Absolutely, absolutely. 
effing not. I miss you. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's blank, remember? Not sure I want to remember you, blank. Wanna go for a drive? Got my car last week. You seem lovely. Are you dense? Go away, man. So because I'm a bit overweight, you won't date me. Even though I'd treat you like a queen, Billy, and buy you everything you could ever want, I own a business and you'd never have to work again. And I'd love you to the end of the earth, baby. Please, don't block me. I'm a good guy. Honestly. I know you like the bad boys, but give a nice guy a chance for one. I'll never use you for your body. Blank who? From work the other day, I worked down the road. The same company, but different building. Oh, you've screwed yourself. Huh? Why would you send pervy explicit messages to a woman you work with? HR will love this, huh? Oh, screw off. My uncle loans the company. I'm fine, but you may be screwed when I tell him what a frigid mare you are. Think you can threaten me? My family owns you. We pay your salary. Learn some respect. Why are you being such a cockwomble? Go home. Screw you. Hi, Billy. This is Blank, founder of Blank. I'm writing to inform you that as a result of your vulgar language to one of our senior employees, you will need to either apologize to blank or you will be subject to a dock in your wages. And if these behaviors continue, then you'll risk your employment being terminated. See, I told you. I'll wait for my apology. What a gross guy. I seriously don't understand. I'm such a nice guy. I work hard so that girls will like me. I dress well and treat all women with respect and they still don't like me. Girls always go after Chad regardless of who they are and that's so discouraging because I'm such a nice guy and they won't even give me a chance. The amount of fedora energy in this post, it's thick, it's palpable like syrup on pancakes. Hi, sorry I didn't shoot you a text back yesterday. Just wanna be honest, I'm not sure I feel a huge connection here and I don't wanna waste your time tonight. And I'll likely have to hang around this networking event tonight to find potential clients. I'm gonna have to pass on meeting up for drinks. Really wishing you the best and good luck on your show on Friday. <laughs> Hashtag screenshot. Hashtag thanks for the material. Hashtag going on social media. Hashtag life ruined. I have 5,000 people on my Facebook. This is perfect. Hashtag go screw yourself. I'll read this text Friday night. I have people coming from Jam and 94.5 to see me. I'll make you famous. <laughs> <laughs> I picture him as a villain who, once he gets rejected, that's when his powers come out. Posted. Literally gonna make you the most hated person in Boston this week. See you later, psycho. Thanks for the material. I swear on my mother's life, I will make everyone in Boston hate you. You should move or I'll get you banned in every single bar, too. I'll do that. Have a good one. I have so many people laughing at you right now. Hey, are you the guy that's dating blank? Uh, yeah? Why? Who are you? You need to break up with her now. You don't deserve her. Who the hell are you to tell me I don't deserve her? What type of crap are you on? You are an a-hole to her. She deserves a nice guy like me who will treat her with respect. First off, I am definitely not the a-hole in this situation. And where do you get off calling yourself nice? You literally told me to break up with my girlfriend of four months because you think you know what's right for her? What if she doesn't even want to date you? Have you ever thought about letting the woman and decide what she wants? For someone calling themselves a nice guy, you are such a hypocrite. You are still the ale here for dating her. She should be mine. <laughs> Good luck, bud. I know, I know, but please forgive the past. Hmm. So, new beginning? I'll be good boy. Well, I have a girlfriend, so you'll have to be a very good boy. What do you mean? I have a girlfriend. Oh, that's awesome. So, are you girls down to have fun with a good guy? No, actually. No, we're not. They're not at all. Sucks being a good dude in a generation full of girls who don't even appreciate it. Oh my god. The amount of dudes on here who think that being nice is a personality trait, and I'm sure it touches on this later in the, the posts, but this is stupid. I'm so nice, but everything else about me is boring. But why don't girls like me? Oh no, you don't have humor, talent, charisma, anything that matters. Being nice is a prerequisite, bro. <laughs> talent doesn't matter when looking for a potential mate. I'm sorry. I just don't like nice guys. After a six month restraining order and a new phone number, two years later, I'm still dealing with this nice guy. He keeps making new email addresses. Guess I'll have to change the email I've had for 15 years. Did you get a new number because of me calling? Go harass someone else, please. I'm saving all ease. Not harassing anyone? Why are you so angry? You could just be nice. I'm not being mean. Excited, expecting, engaged, Emily. We feel you, Emily. Maybe if Emily would stop friendzoning the guys interested in her, she could be encouraged or elated. Ain't nothing more sexy than thick thighs and a nice back. Damn, you whole face screams sexual appeal. Would love to drown it in your pool. You want to drown me? Well, that got your attention. Nah, 
I want to dip and drown my wiener in your coochie. <laughs> On a serious note though, you exude major sex appeal. Getting freaky with you will be fun, I can tell. I don't think that'll be happening. Why's that? Because all your messages have been weird. Maybe try a hello, how are you doing with the next girl? Hello sometimes doesn't get the attention. You said you had thick thighs, which I love. Do you sometimes do hookups on Tinder? No. 17 miles away. How whereabouts are you? Wondering if I would be willing to make the journey. I've just said no. Let's leave the conversation at that. But I, but I love you. I want to be there for you. When times are tough, please, just a crumb of Gucci. And that brings us to the end of r slash nice guys, and I hope that you learned something. Nice guys are, well, the worst. If you like the video, leave a like down below. Comment down below how many, uh, how many nice guys you've encountered in your lifetime. If it's more than three, you get a little purple heart from me. And if you really like the video, subscribe. And as always, I'll be seeing you.